What's up guys, it's Catch the Shooter and I'm back again with another Final Cut 10 tutorial. Some people call it the strobe, some people call it the stutter. Um, whatever, whatever you call it, I got, a, I got a way to make it a lot faster for you, man. If you do music videos, you definitely need this plugin. I'm headed out to LA next Tuesday. Uh, yeah, next, I'm headed out to LA next Tuesday, so I'm going to be doing a donation base for this one. If you do music videos, man, I'm trying to tell you, you need it. It's 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 no other way. Every other way that I've seen a director do it, it takes at least 20 minutes. With this, you just drag and drop and, you know, apply it to match the beat of whatever song you're editing. Or whatever video you're editing, there's a lot of uses for it. And you will see that this plugin will bring a lot of value to you and your production and speed up your process. And if you know like I know, if you shoot like I shoot or anybody that I know shoot, you need it. Uh, Fast is better. Fast is better so you can move on to that next client. And I'm going to make a bunch of different vlogs, man, touching on clients, touching on a bunch of different stuff that I've been dealing with here in Houston, Texas, uh, just about the client base, dealing with artists, just dealing with a whole lot of stuff, man. I, one of the reasons I've actually headed out to L.A. is to get my mind right, um, just relax, focus on building a better business uh, with this videography business and my other business. I'll probably get into that at another time. But let's jump right into it, man. Enough talk. Guys, and now we're at the computer. Uh, I'm going to start with how to install the effect in case you're not familiar with how to install effects in Final Cut 10. Okay, once you download the folder, you drag it to wherever you like. I drag mine to the desktop. It's right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kind of sick. Um, click on your finder window at the bottom click on the movies tab motion templates effects and then you just drag and drop that folder into the effects folder simple as that let's jump over into Final Cut 10 okay here I have a couple of music video clips that I shot I'm gonna start by showing you some of the things that you can do with this there's there's endless amount of things that you can do with this it all depends on your creativity if you think of a cool way you think I should know man send it to me let me check it out let's help each other out so okay you go here once you're in here under your effects click your effects click the catch the shooter strobe effect then you drag and drop simple as that like I said this is just a couple of things that you can do with this effect okay click the clip now you have your drop down up here. Depending on the, the frames you, you shot, uh, 60 frames, whatever. Depending on the frames, 24 frames, you, it's always best to click 24. I found that the effect is more, you know, you can see it more. You can, it, it's, it has a stronger effect when you use 24, no matter the frame rate, frame rate you shot it at. But like I say, it's, it's, it's endless. So if you think of something dope, man, shoot it to me. Okay, you change it to 24, and your and your strobe frequency is basically how fast it flickers. Um, I'm gonna just put it like halfway, just you know, see what that looks like. And like I say, this is just applied to one clip. There's a million ways you can use it, guys. So if you just apply it to one clip, one solo clip, say for instance, you got some some snare, some snare hits, or some hi hats that you wanna sync it up. Let it play. See see the little black. Now, if we had some dope hi-hats or something behind that, it'll look dope, you know? Okay, I'm going to show you another way. Let's take that effect off. Let's take that effect off. Okay, we're going to duplicate this clip. Okay, now we're going to drag it to the above clip. But also, on top of that, we're going to add maybe a flip. Let's add the flip. Okay, once again, turn the strobe effect up. All this depends on your music, guys, so that's why I'm just throwing random numbers out there. If, you're, if your song is faster, you want to have it faster. If your song is slower, you want to have it slower. Simple as that. All right, so let's let that play. You see what I'm saying? That's dope. I actually should have probably used that on this video. But yeah, like, it, you know, it just it bounces back and forth. And that's that's two clips, two of the same clips, just duplicated with the strobe effect and with the flip. Okay, another way we're gonna drag that same clip above 
above a different a different clip these are these are the two clips that i have on top of each other so with the strobe effect applied to the top clip you don't even have to use the flip like i say you got those hi hats you got those snare hits you got those bass kicks whatever just sync it up you use a it's a fast song use a fast beat okay see how it flickers back and forth between two clips simple as that like I said, there's, there's a million ways. I'm not just going to sit here all day. I don't want to waste you guys' time and show you all the different things that you can do with this plugin. But before I let you go, I'm going to show you one more effect that you can do with this plugin. Okay, this is our clip here. Take that clip, duplicate it. Add your catch to shooter strobe effect. Let's go uh, scale it up a little. Course, increase the frequency 24 frames again like I say it's up to you you can play with it and you know come up with something creative on your own but this is usually how I use it okay so you get to it and it flips it back and forth show you one more time flips it back and forth or you can just say okay I'm gonna go ahead and add you can add the flip to it at the same time keeping the clip scaled up it should still give you a different effect okay let that render in okay let's check it out with like that same thing it's endless man let's slow it down a little bit it's endless I'm telling you guys speed it up hip-hop videos rock videos any kind of video you can think of if you're just making a vlog if you want to transition from one clip to the other hold on i'll show you that actually i'll show you how to use it as a transition okay let's slow down a little bit right there however you want to do it now say for instance if we wanted to zoom in a little bit say for instance we wanted to transition into another clip by using this effect Okay. Let it run. See the transition? Transition. Uh, you'll probably notice it a lot more if you speed it up. Got that clip. Let it run. Transition. However you want to do it. I'm just doing it real sloppy right now, guys. But if you get in depth, you can make some crazy stuff. Like I said, I'm headed out to L.A. next Tuesday. Hopefully you'll come back, you'll subscribe, look look for the vlogs I'm going to be releasing. I'm going to get my mind right. I'm going to talk about a bunch of entrepreneurship, a uh, bunch of different ways to make money doing videography, just a bunch of different stuff, getting some stuff off my mind. So uh, that's right, guys. The link to this effect will be in the bio. Five bucks, man. I know you can spare it. So uh, support, and I'll support you. Catch the shoot. I'm signing out.